How to use stable diffusion to change character outfit in an AI image. Hey guys, for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change a subject's outfit in an AI generated image or in an actual photo. So here I'm going to be opening my stable diffusion. There are just two things that we are going to need. First we have a model, so in my case I'm using Magic Mix Realistic. And the other thing that we're going to need is Control Net, particularly Depth. So I've already installed mine. So as you can see here, the model should appear. There you go. So I have a model here already. So now we are going to go here, uh, image to image. We're going to click in paint, this one, and then you're going to upload the picture. So in my case, I'm going to be uploading my wife's picture. And if I don't come back on the next video, it means I've died. All right. So here's the picture. Okay. And then I'm just going to resize it. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to paint the clothes, this clothes. So this is what we're going to do first. Zoom it in and then we're going to do it slowly. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to fast forward this one for you guys not to be bored. So I'm done painting the clothes now. It just shows that that is the clothes that we want to replace. Okay, and then we're going to go down here and we're going to change settings here little by little. Okay, so I'm going to increase it a little bit more. Okay, there you go. So now it's 100. So first things first, we're not going to change anything here. We're going to go to this one, uh, sampling steps. We are going to increase the sampling steps for, to 30. And then for the this one, we're going to increase it to 32. And then scroll down, we're going to change the height as well as the batch count. So first, let's try to see our image. Okay, we wanna make sure that we cover all the image. So we're going to increase this and see that red line there. I mean, see that red box, okay, there you go. So it is being covered. And then we're going to increase this to 10. All right, so we increase our batch count to 10. Okay, or maybe six, so that it, it won't take so long. So you can basically increase it depending on how many images you want to have. So in my case, I'm just going to have a six. And then we're going to go to our control net. All right, so there's the image. So I already loaded it here earlier. Uh, basically what you can do is you can just click this one and then scroll down, find your image. And yeah, basically that's how it works. So you see it's green now, so it means it's active. Okay, it's enabled. I'm going to click depth. And then from depth needles, I'm going to change this to depth Laris. And then for the ending control, I'm also going to change it to 0 0.5. Okay, there you go. So yeah, uh, I think that's everything there is. So basically, this is what we are going to do. And then let's go to the prompt. This is the last thing that we want to put. Uh, okay, I've copied the prompt earlier. So basically, what I want to do is I want my wife to wear something like this. Uh, red Hanfu. So it's basically kind of like a Chinese traditional clothing. And then this one. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's try to go and generate. And then we're going to wait. All right, so my wife is beautiful. Let's see how beautiful AI is going to make her be. Wow, now I'm really surprised. I'm really happy with this one. Wow, that's amazing. I think my wife is going to love me. So I think I'll not die tomorrow or later. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to click this one. And yeah, I'm going to open this one in a new tab for us to see better. Wow, look at that. Is that an off shoulder or something? All right, so this is what AI did. And yeah. Okay, this one, this is the first image. Wow, look at that. Look at the compilation, everyone. That's definitely amazing. Okay, now this is making me happy. Look at that legs. She didn't have that in the original picture. Okay, so I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison in order for us to see uh, the actual image. Okay, so I'm gonna put it there as we scroll, as we go through here. Okay, I'm just going to hide it and okay, there you go. And this is the original. This is now the result of AI generated. Uh, okay, so next picture. Okay, wow, there it was able to generate hands as well.
Ooh, no, that's nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. Wow, okay. So I am definitely satisfied with this one. So yeah, this this is how it looks. That's the result. So basically it's the same process with regards to AI generated pictures. What you're going to do is you're just going to highlight or, or basically color the clothes in the in paint. And after that, use the depth. And then, yeah, you can use your prompt and generate an image like this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something new and see you in the next one.